Hello grade 11 students, welcome on a new English lesson. Our lesson today is writing a story part 2. At the end of this lesson, students will be able to generate ideas for a story by asking questions, plan a story correctly using graphic organizers, and compose a story about an interesting holiday. Dear students, now please look at the picture and tell me what was yesterday's lesson about? Hmm. Excellent, it was about a safari trip. Dear students, now look at the picture and mention one of the dangers that might people face on a safari trip. Hmm. What do you think? Okay. Excellent. People might be attacked by wild animals at any time. Thank you. Now please open a student's book, page 49, exercise F. Dear students, read the written task and underline the keywords and phrases, then answer the questions that follow. We are looking for stories for our special holiday edition. Your story must describe a holiday experience which taught you a valuable lesson. Then you need to answer the questions. What is the purpose of this story? Who will read the story? What features should you include to make your story interesting? Please pause the video for some time, get your answers ready. After that, play the video again in order to check your answers. Thank you. Dear students, here we come again in order to check the answers of exercise F. So now we need to underline the keywords and phrases so, excellent, we need to underline the word of stories, special holiday edition, describe a holiday experience, and taught a valuable lesson. Thank you. Now, let's come to the questions. What is the purpose of this story? The answer is to entertain the readers of this magazine. Excellent. Question number two. Who will read this story? Of course, the story is written for a magazine, so you can easily guess who will read the story. Excellent. The readers of this magazine. So, the last question. What features should you include to make your story interesting? Let's remember the features which we had studied the last lesson. Okay, we can use some features like direct speech, questions, exclamations, powerful language, and elements of plot development. Excellent. Now please open a student's book, page 49, exercise G. Dear students, please make sure that you are opening your student's book on page number 49, exercise G. Now, do the tasks that follow to help you generate ideas for your story. In other words, generating ideas means to get ready with a lot of information in order to help you to start writing your story. One. Imagine that a friend of yours has recently had an interesting holiday experience that taught him or her a valuable lesson. Now you need to use the questions in the diagram in order to ask as many questions as you can that will help you to write your story. Please pause the video for some time, write as many questions as you can, then play the video again in order to check some of the questions together. 
Dear students, before writing the questions, please let's think together of the most important parts that you need to ask questions about in order to help you try to go to story. Of course, you need to ask about the place where the story took place or happened. You don't ask about the time when the story occurred. You need to ask about the characters who participated in the story. You need to ask something about the problem and how it was resolved at the end. Dear students, here are some suggested questions for the task. Please read the questions, try to make use of the ones that you think that will help you to write down a good story. Thank you. Now please open a student's book, page 49, exercise H. Dear students, you should read the tab below as it contains very important information that will help you to write a good story. When writing a story, please try to keep the plot of your story very simple. Don't use complicated ones. In order to use your own language, to write a good story. Your story should be written in different paragraphs, as each paragraph plays a certain role in order to help to convey the message of the whole story. You should put the events of the story in order, or what we call it, chronological order, in order to be logic for the readers. You should write about your feeling towards people, places, and experiences. As your story happened and finished, you should write your story or narrate your story using past tenses. You should also use linking words as it helps to indicate the sequence of events and to express result and many things also. You should vary your language, use short sentences to create suspense, use direct speech to use questions for dramatic effect, exclamations, in order to express emotion. Dear students, please try to use descriptive language as the dose of adjectives, adverbs, phrases, and expressions in order to excite your reader's imagination. Please try to use a dictionary to replace the words that are too dull or too long. Please try to avoid repetition. Thank you. Dear students, now open your workbook Page 14. Dear students, before writing the story, you should know how to plan for your story first. And in order to plan successfully for your story, let's know something about the process of planning. First of all, in the planning section, we have three major stations. The first station is the introduction. The introduction has a major task in the story. The introduction describes the setting of the story, the place and time, and mention and introduce the main characters. The second station in the planning process is the main part, and the main part consists of paragraph number two and paragraph number three. And the major task of this main part it is to describe the series of events that lead up to the climax. In this part, you need to write something about what you did, what you saw, what you heard, what you said, and to mention something about your feelings and emotions. And the last station here is the conclusion. In the conclusion, you need to describe what happened in the end and make a short comment. Also, you need to write something about how you feel about the events described, what you learned from them, and what effect they had on you. Thank you. Dear students, here's the planning section in your workbook. You need to fill in the places in order to get ready for writing your story. You need to mention a place, time in the past, 
something about the characters you need to fill this part as well something about the rising action the climax the falling action and then the conclusion dear students before writing your story you should read the evaluation criteria in the workbook page 42 in order to be aware how you are evaluated or how your story is being evaluated by your teacher so for example here how to make your writing outstanding you need to this related to the relevance to task communicative effectiveness how should your organization be how your grammar should appear and how to use your own vocab this is a very important section you should read well before writing your story dear students here's a very important checklist you need to go through before writing your story it will organize your work and make you aware of all the steps you should follow in order to write a good story please refer to this section in your workbook page 42 dear students now it's time to write here is a model writing please Read the model writing. Well, try to make use of the model writing in order to write your own stories. Thank you. Dear students, here's the model writing story entitled, Please do not leave your luggage. As I was getting off the plane, I had no idea what was in store for me. This was supposed to be the ideal holiday two weeks of sun and fun in Cancun with my friends. I couldn't hide my excitement. Things were just fine until a stranger started talking to me in a language I didn't recognize while we were waiting for a taxi to take us to our hotel. I was about to tell him that I had no idea what he was saying when someone bumped into me from behind. When I turned around to look, I saw someone walk away and disappear into the crowd of people waiting for buses. When I turned back again, the person who had spoken to me before was gone, but so was my suitcase. I tried to stay calm and asked my friends if they had seen anything, but none had because they had been looking out for taxes coming from the other direction. I couldn't believe it. My holiday was ruined. I checked the backpack I was carrying. Thankfully, I had all my money and cards in there. So, the only things I had lost were my clothes, which could be easily replaced in the town. Things could have been a lot worse. They might have taken my passport or all my money. I soon found some great new clothes at a really cheap price and still managed to have a great holiday. So, in the end, everything was fine, needless to say, though after this experience, I always make sure I know where my all my luggage is and never leave it unattended when I travel. Dear students, here are some useful story writing websites. Please try to make use of them in order to develop your skill of writing. Thank you. Dear students, at the end of our lesson, thank you very much for watching. Till we meet again, wish you all the best. Thank you and goodbye.